Meet John Reed. Reed lives in the city of Wagga Wagga, 5 hours drive away from Sydney. Reed was born with a misshaped cornea. To get his vision back, Reed resorted to a transplant. However, his eye unfortunately got infected. So much so that he was about to lose his vision completely. The doctor that I saw in Wagga told me that my eye could literally explode within a 24-hour period because of how bad the infection had got originally. But now, thanks to a new eye technology, Reed has got his vision back. The Garigal Clinic, part of Sydney Eye Hospital, has been testing a new kind of retinal camera. These retinal cameras are easy to use and can transmit high-quality pictures to specialists sitting somewhere miles away. As per state records, visual impairments are likely to impact Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people three times more than the general Australian population. Unfortunately, when you live in such remote regions, seeing a specialist to get a diagnosis can be quite challenging. This is where the new eye tech is proving to be useful. This has now allowed us to connect with remote locations in order to do real-time assessment of patients who come in with suddenly loss of sight. The small New South Wales towns of Marie and Tamworth are the first ones to benefit from this technology. Meanwhile, the state's health minister wants the network to be much bigger. And what I've said from day one is we need to look at technology to be able to deliver the very best of care in some of the most remote communities in New South Wales. Technology is redefining the healthcare industry. It is changing the way we approach medical care. Interestingly, cutting-edge innovations are benefiting both patients and doctors.